Well, I think the important message about the future and climate change is that climate change is happening now and it will continue to happen. If we wait to take steps to adapt to climate change, those steps will cost us much more than if we were to integrate those steps into our decision making and our national planning processes now. What we're doing is to talk to stakeholders, people who potentially have a direct impact on the way that we adapt to climate change here in Cayman. What we're trying to do is to get to the issues as people see them regarding climate change. In truth, we are vulnerable to any time the climate will change. And we see this in the short term. If there's a hurricane, wow, we feel the effects. Everything we do really has a climate component built into it. So if you think about what our major economic activities are, tourism, very dependent on climate. Agriculture, very dependent on climate. Fishing, very dependent on climate. If we're vulnerable in the short term, then very likely we'll be vulnerable to long-term changes in climate. And so what do we need to do? Climate change is not an environmental problem, it's a developmental problem. And we need to really address that by ensuring that all sectors of government and the private sector are on board in terms of our strategies to combat climate change. There are lots of things that we should and could be doing just from the point of view of making our country more sustainable in the long run anyway that will also address some of the impacts of climate change will help us to adapt to reduce our risk when it comes to hurricanes and to reduce our exposure to some of the negative impacts of, of climate change. Climate change is about everybody on this planet and to deal with it we need drastic action that will call for the collective response. Now rich and poor, north, south, every single person has to understand and to respond. It's about building resilience and building the sort of understanding at the public level so that they become willing partners in the transformation that we need to make if we're going to survive these challenges. Climate change is happening now in Israel and responding to climate change makes economic sense and if you don't then the impacts down the road can have certainly economic but social effects as well. I think it has come to the point where it has been realized that we are all in this together. It might not be this generation which gets the worst of it, but we are in the process of things happening and the decisions which are being made now are decisions which in some cases are small steps, but they are all steps towards achieving the same outcomes. There are things that we can do as a country to, to help reduce our vulnerability to climate change by, for example, dealing with our planning regulations, our physical planning regulations, setbacks for coastal buildings, etc. The way that we build in the coastal zone, ensuring that you know we, we take climate change or some of the predicted impacts like sea level rise into account. We can also obviously deal with our exposure to climate events like hurricanes, which are predicted to be more intense. But also, basically, I think that the, the message about adaptation is that one of the ways that we can best adapt to climate change, really, as a government, as a country, is to ensure that we take action to address current issues 